Hey, hey, what's good people? Mr. Zensfer here, back with another Renoise tutorial. Today I want to show you how to do sample warping in Renoise using the rubber band-aid time stretch tool. Um, sample warping is a common feature in most uh, digital audio workstations and it's something that Renoise lacks. Um, but using this tool, we can uh, do a little workaround and um, correct any timing issues in your sample. Uh, you can also use this for creative effects processing, um, just basically warping and changing the time data domain of your samples, whatever they happen to be. Um, so as I said, this is often useful for correcting timing. Um, in this instance, we have a breakbeat sample. Nice sample, sounds good. I've matched it to my song tempo um, so that it's looping uh, as close as it can. And it sounds pretty good, <clears throat> but um, say I already have some percussion parts written in this track um, and I want the timing to be nice and precise. Um, we can see here that uh, on beat three, we're kind of dragging the beat a little bit. Um, so using this method, we can correct that problem um, pretty easily. Uh, so the first step in this process is just to hit our slice tool and see how we're doing. <clears throat> looks pretty good on our transients. This one looks pretty good. Uh, looks like it did a fine job. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. I'm just gonna insert a transient here or a slice marker there rather. And um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the time stretch tool, which I've assigned to a hotkey. You can find the rubber band-aid tool uh, in the tools section of the Renoise website. Uh, and after you've got it installed, uh, I recommend assigning hotkeys to the various uh, functions that it can do. It can do time stretching, it can do pitch shifting. Uh, you can also create um, kind of like multi-note instruments out of a single sample, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, so I'm just going to bring up the time stretching window and here we have the option of choosing different um, modes uh, for the time stretching or, or different uh, kind of like time domains. We can stretch by lines, beats, seconds, or percent relative to the initial sample. Uh, we want this selected on beats um, and then we're going to make sure, let me close this out real quick, that our snap value is set to markers. So that uh, enables our mouse selection to snap right to our slice markers. Um, so this is very handy for selecting the portion of audio that we want. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select this first beat. Uh, and you can see this is pretty close. It's dragging just a little bit, um, but you know, good enough for government work as they say. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, time stretch this anyway. Uh, I'm gonna set it to one beat because it takes up one beat roughly in our uh, cycle. <clears throat> and we'll process it. It's doing its thing, it did its thing, and it's back. So now we see that our three is still dragging, so let's uh, select this next section. And if we wanted to, we could get even more precise and um, stretch each of these markers for half a beat um, if we wanted to make sure that these uh, were right on the um, quarter notes or eighth notes. Sorry, they'd be half notes actually. Um, but in any case, we're just gonna stretch this, actually compressing it a little bit. And we're just gonna repeat this process for each beat. Uh, Cause you can see now that this is uh, rushing the beat. <clears throat> and just for good measure, we're gonna select this last um, portion <clears throat> and we'll time stretch this as well. And then we should have all our transients lining up really nicely on our beat markers. Now this does change the feel of the uh, break a little bit, um, but that's in a way kind of what we're going for. Um, now there are other ways of doing this. We could um, render these slices or rather render this um, pattern to a phrase and then correct the timing in the phrase. Um, but sometimes you wanna work with the sample directly. Um, you can also use this, uh, this effect creatively. Um, so say you wanted to have this second hit take a full beat on its own, um, we could do that. <clears throat> Uh, 
And now we've got a uh, four and a half beat rhythm say you were writing in 9 8 or something like that uh, this now would fit um, so you can you know you can muck about and change the timing however you want you can get some uh, interesting uh, results this way and there are a variety of Christmases that you can choose um, for your time stretching algorithm uh, I find this unpitched solo percussion is usually pretty good for percussion um, so that's what I'm using here in any case uh, go nuts have fun uh, keep being awesome. Make lots of music. Peace.